In today's video, we are going to be comparing GPU mining versus CPU mining and the differences between them. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Bootleg Philly7 back here with another Salad.io video. I hope you guys are doing awesome. So right now, in the past 24 hours, I have been mining with my two 1080s as well as my one 1660 on Salad.io. It's been making about eight to ten dollars, so earnings are down a little bit. But in this video here, I'm going to stop mining, and then I can cycle between CPU and GPU mining. Now my CPU here, it has 32 gigabytes of RAM, but that's because of how much my computer has, which is 32 gigabytes. And this is my processor. Now this processor makes about a dollar a day, and that's before electricity costs. And after electricity costs, it's only making like 10 to 20 cents because of the amount of power this specific CPU uses it uses about 100 to 200 watts per hour just because it's more for rendering video editing it's not so for mining and we're going to be checking an article on that here in a second if you guys are new to solid you can use code vih 9 to get a double earning rate and to reach a total of four dollars and it greatly helps the channel and i thank you guys so much as well as enter my weekly giveaways you can join my discord link in description below guys and for those of you who have made it here, comment the word boot just to see who has made it here. And I thank you guys so much for actually making it this far into the video and watching so far. My GPU, if you have more than 4 gigabytes of VRAM on your GPU available, that means your card is generally able to make more than other cards because you have more VRAM available and you are able to use miners that generally make more profit. So this was a blog by Jared last year during October. So shout out to him for writing this blog and thank you for letting me use this. We are going to be talking about how the basics of CPU mining are similar to GPU mining. But the devils and the details, there are a few key differences worth mentioning before you get started. Now, protocol optimization. Many coins are optimized to take advantage of both CPU and GPU power. Salad uses your CPU to mine Monero XMR via XMRig. It's one of the best known and most reliably profitable coins for CPU mining though results aren't always guaranteed. So when you see earnings aren't always guaranteed for XMRig or Monero, that means it's possible to have lower earnings, meaning you don't make as much profit per day rather than other miners you could be using for GPU mining instead of CPU mining, meaning that GPUs tend to have more rendering, etc. for that purpose. CPU earning rates are affected by many of the same factors as GPU mining, such as hash rate, cooling and hardware maintenance, mining difficulty, and luck. If you're unfamiliar with these topics, check out A Gamer's Guide to Blockchain and Crypto. It might also be helpful to read about the common mining pool payout schemes. Now, if you guys want to go click on these links, be sure to go check the link in description below and you can go click out and check these out for yourself. So CPUs have lower hash power. Graphics cards generally perform specialized processes like rendering game graphics, particle effects, whereas the CPU is a jack of all trades. It's like your computer's brain tasked with overseeing everything from your Excel spreadsheets to those 50 browser tabs you've got open for some day. The more background processes you have running, the less spare power your CPU will have to contribute to hashing. This makes CPU mining essentially ineffectual unless you're truly AFK. The CPU's wide range of res responsibilities benefit from its equally wide skill set. The GPU shines a CPU can't output the same raw hash power that a GPU produces and you may earn slowly as a result. So for example, my GTX 1080 Ti's can get about 35 hash 35 mega hash mining on ethereum whereas my cpu would get about 5 mega hash using around the same amount of power and that's not a lot of mining 
Will CPU mining harm your computer? While GPU mining is considered safe for long-term use, the jury is still out on CPU mining. Your primary concern with any important piece of PC hardware should be overheating, unsafe temperatures, and vital components like your GPU and CPU can result in immediate failure and possibly inflict permanent damage on your rig. For those of you breaking out in nervous sweat, take comfort. The worst you'll typically encounter is a blue screen or shutdown. Drivers are smart, and they'll use whatever means necessary to protect your PC from total meltdown. But many CPUs don't have extraneous drivers and, wouldn't, and won't get upgraded as often as your GPU. So it's your job to protect your PC's brains from getting scrambled. Here are some pro tips to mining safely with your CPU. Keep CPU temperature low. Most CPUs allow you to check running temperature directly in BIOS, but third-party software like HW Monitor can be handy for keeping an eye on it. We generally recommend keeping your CPU temperature below 80 Celsius. There is wiggle room on either side of that number, depending on your specific model, overclocking and other factors, but it's a good benchmark. Limit other processes. The more that you ask your CPU to do, the harder it will work. The harder it will work, it works, the hotter it will get. To avoid crashing your PC from heat or simple overload, keep background simultaneous processes to a minimum while mining. So basically, overall with CPU mining, you don't want to be doing anything while CPU mining and you, and for example, you would only want to be doing CPU mining when you're asleep and not at your computer because like I said earlier, CPU mining just uses a lot of everything. Like it, if you're trying to do background like YouTube, Minecraft, you're going to lag because your CPU renders everything in some way while it does try to offload it to the graphics card. And this is why I recommend GPU mining over CPU mining. If you want to read the article more for yourself, please check it out, link in description below. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe. And I hope guys, you are having a phenomenal day. And as always guys, happy mining with salad. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.